Okay, I guess it's time to make a video and do a quick update. Here is the replacement engine for the Apple Craftsman. It came out of the little Black Murray. These tractors are a little on the difficult side to get the engines out. You do not have to pull the transmission out to get the engine out. That bolt right there, there, and there are very easily accessed with a 916 socket and an extension. That back one, you do not need the extension. A wrench would probably be best for that back one. It's right above the uh, transmission. But uh, again, four bolts, just like any other engine in these tractors. They come out, engine lifts out. It's easier to leave the pulley in place. As you can see, the belts are still in place. I already have ideas in my mind how I'm going to modify the drive system on this machine. Transmission will have to come out to do that because I'm not uh, monkeying around through that tiny hole. And obviously the wiring on this machine will be upgraded. The back tires will be staying stock for now. I got new front tires for it. And the gas tank will be most likely changed to an MTD gas tank. But the uh, little Black Murray is uh, not what this video is about. This video is about the Apple Craftsman. So here is the engine from the little Black Murray. I don't know if it's the original engine that was in the Black Murray or not. A few things kind of tell me that this is possibly not the original engine. The um, way it was bolted in, it had one mismatch bolt in it, a few little things like that. But um, last night, I was able to get all the wiring done, the solenoids done, the um, everything's ready to go. It had, it, sorry, it required a uh, four-wire solenoid. I converted it to a three-wire solenoid just by adding this little ground wire right here. Very easy to do. I did not have a working four wire solenoid on hand, just a three wire one, so I changed it. Those two came with this tractor and the other tractor, but they're both dead. The uh, charging system was unhooked, reconnected all that. The headlights were unhooked, reconnected all of that. The ignition switch works, the clutch safety works, the seat safety is disconnected. Um, I'd like one or the other to work, so most likely um, the clutch safety on this machine will work. This machine is not getting modified. I don't sell modified tractors. I don't want to take the liability of selling something that's modified. So this thing will go out um, pretty much bone stock. So you can see I've already started putting the pulley on. It fit perfectly on this engine. The uh, bolt from the uh, from this engine that was in here fit perfectly fine since it's a Briggs and Stratton going back into a tractor that had a Briggs and Stratton. But if I was putting a Kohler in here, a Kohler would go in here, a Tecumseh would go in here, I could even put a big uh, Briggs V twin in here. So this tractor has the uh, weaker front end, but I have checked it over. It seems to be fine. There's no cracks in the front end, uh, unlike that other one I had that had the completely cracked front end. So that's why this tractor is a good candidate for an engine. Also, this tractor, I'm not sure of the year on it fully, since. The model number has been painted over, but as you can see the rear fenders used to be that beige color, but the wiring is from a newer tractor, so I don't know if they swapped the wiring, they swapped over the fenders, as you can see also that's that uh, beige color, kind of beigey uh, gray color right there too. So really this tractor might have been put together from a bunch of different parts in the first place, and it's just going to go back together as a stock machine. And that looks kind of like a John Deere. And Apple stickers on the back. The HPC made a funny comment on the previous video. That who knows, maybe Steve Jobs owned this tractor. Highly, highly, highly unlikely, but who knows when I go to sell it. I'm just going to be called the Apple Craftsman. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Quick update. Uh, I'm not really going to show putting in the engine. Putting, in, putting the engine in. There's lots of videos online showing that. I might show the wiring, but uh, little things. So, Dr. Malir, please keep your redneck like always, and uh, please share and comment.